A lot of what logic is for is proving that one statement leads to another statement or the two statements are actually the same. So that's what we're going to learn how to do in these next videos. A tautology is a statement that is always true, denoted with a capital T, just like we denote the letter, the word true. A contradiction, always false, is denoted with a capital F. A rule of inference is a conditional statement that is a tautology, in other words, always true. When phi implies psi as a rule of inference, we write phi and then this kind of stronger arrow, psi, and say that phi implies psi. So our first rule of inference here is going to be something called modus ponens, and it is a very common mathematical proof technique. Let's give an example of it. Let's have uh, P implies Q be the statement if you do your homework you will pass the test. Let's have P be the statement you do your homework and then if both P implies Q if both the conditional statement if p then q and the antecedent p are both true, then that means that q has to be true because if p then q says that p is never true without q and we know that p is true, so therefore we should be able to conclude that you will pass the test. That's what modus ponens says. We can prove modus ponens using a truth table. It's got two statement letters, so we're going to have four rows. As usual, we'll have P be true, true, false, false. Q will be true, false, true, false. Remember that the conditional statement if P then Q is true as long as P isn't true while Q is false. So the truth table for that is true, false, true, true. And now we're going to take this conditional statement and conjoin it with P. So we're looking for the rows where P, if P then Q, and P are both true at the same time. So that's going to be this first row here. And then otherwise, they're not both true at the same time. So that's going to be false, false, false. Okay. So let's do like we did in the uh, last video and reprint the truth table for reference. So true, false, false, false. And then Q's truth table is true, false, true, false. So the only rows where this statement can possibly be false are the rows where the left hand expression is true and the right hand expression is false. But notice that that doesn't happen, right? We've got if true, then true, which is true. We've got if false, then anything is going to be true. So that's true, true, true. So since our main connective has only trues in its truth table, this is a tautology, and therefore modus ponens is a rule of inference. Another important rule of inference is transitivity. So to give an example of transitivity, we'll do something a little more mathematical this time. Let's have the statement if p then q be the statement if a function is differentiable, then it is continuous. And it doesn't matter whether or not you know that this statement is true or even what these words mean, because all we're concerned about is the logical structure of the statement. These statements are actually going to be true, um, but like I said, that's not really important. If q then r is going to be the statement if a function is continuous. And these have to be the same word, because these are both q's. Then it is integrable. And then finally, we're going to claim that if these two statements are true, then so is this one. If a function is differentiable, then it is integrable. Okay, so our first statement says that if a function is differentiable, then it's continuous. Our second says that if it's continuous, it must be integrable. So if both of those are true, then we should be able to say that if it's differentiable, it must also be integrable. So that hopefully makes sense to you, even if you don't know what these words mean. 
Instead of proving this statement with a truth table, we're going to do something a little more informal. We're going to write down a more um, verbal proof. So suppose that the statements if p then q and if q then r are both true. And we're also going to suppose that p is true. Then, by modus ponens and the fact that if p then q is true, q is true. Then, also by modus ponens and the fact that if q is true, then r must be true, you guessed it, r is true. So what we've done is we assumed p and concluded r must be true. So what that means is whenever p is true, r is true as well. Therefore, whenever p is true, so is r. So what that means is that the statement if p then r is true. And that's what transitivity says. It says that if you have if p then q and you have if q then r, then you also have if p then r.